Hi everybody, it's Mrs. Heath. I'm reading to you Thanksgiving books from my home today. I hope you're enjoying this with me, I am. And today, this Thanksgiving story is called The Very Stuffed Turkey. And he kind of looks like a nice big bird. I think this one's cute because he's wearing clothes. The Very Stuffed Turkey, let's find out what this is about. My author is Katherine Kenna. She wrote the words. My uh, illustrator is Binny Talib. He or she did the pictures. I'm not sure if Binny is a girl or boy's name. The Very Stuffed Turkey. There's my title page. Look at him. He has letters in his wings there. I guess his wings. I don't know if he has hands. Here he is. It was Thanksgiving morning and Turkey had a problem. Pig, horse, goat, and sheep, and cow. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Let's read that again. Pig, horse, goat, and sheep, cow, and mouse had even invited him to Thanksgiving dinner at their homes. They all invited him. Turkey loved his barnyard friends, and he didn't want to hurt anyone's feelings, so he was going to everyone's houses. Wow. Turkey wasn't sure he had room in his stomach for five dinners, but he thought of all the good food bubbling and baking in those kitchens. Just thinking about it made him hungry. Five houses, five dinners, no problem. Okie dokie, that's a lot of food, Turkey. It was time to get ready. Turkey hopped up and down and touched his beak to the ground 20 times to stretch his stomach. He brushed his feathers. Then Turkey made a map of the way to his friends' houses. Here it is, Turkey's friends. Horses house, goat, goat and sheep's house, cow's house, mouse's house. He was ready to go. Turkey walked to Pig's house first. Pig was outside hanging up holiday lights. The piglets were playing pumpkin ball nearby. Hi, Turkey, said Pig. Hope you're hungry. One of those piglets made an amazing pumpkin pass that almost hit Turkey's head. Touchdown, called the turkey as he caught the ball and kicked it back to the piglets. Half time, yelled Pig. He climbed down the ladder and waved to everyone in the house for dinner. So they were playing throw the pumpkin. That's kind of a cool game. Pig made a fine Thanksgiving stew with beets and corn and a worm or two. While Pig's family snuffled and snorted, Turkey slurped and burped. He gobbled up everything on his plate. Turkey felt like part of the family. It was a wonderful feeling. Wow, that does look like a yummy stew. I like that he felt like part of the family. Horse's house was next. Turkey wished he hadn't eaten like a pig when he saw the dining room table. It was covered with plates of oat cakes and hay, carrots, sugar cubes, and pumpkin and apple pies. While Horse's family munched and crunched, Turkey mashed and mixed. He gobbled up everything on his plate. I have an idea, Horse said after dinner. Let's have a race. Turkey didn't think that was a good idea. He was too full to trot, and his tummy was feeling funny. Well, after gobbling up everything on his plate, he's probably pretty full. While Horse's family raced ahead, Turkey hopped and fluttered behind them, but he didn't get too far, so Horse gave Turkey a ride under fall leaves as colorful as candy. Turkey felt like a part of the family. It was a wonderful feeling. Oh, I love that. Feeling like part of the family. Goat and sheep lived next door to Horse. Turkey sniffed the air all the way to their house. What is that yummy smell? Turkey asked as he waddled through their front door. Come see, they said. Goat made his special Thanksgiving soup with flowers, weeds, and glue. Sheep baked a clover casserole dotted with dandelions. While goat and sheep tasted and sipped, turkey gobbled up everything on his plate. That soup was sticky, said sheep. Dandelion, dandelions taste fuzzy, said goat. Turkey said dinner was delightful, but he thought he might explode. He's been eating a lot of food, hasn't he? They played hide and seek indoors after dinner. Goat and sheep kept peeking, but Turkey won every time. Turkey felt like part of the family. It was a wonderful feeling. I love that they played hide and seek after. Turkey was too late for dinner when he got to Cow's house. They were getting ready for dessert. Cow's family was crowded around the kitchen counter. They were all holding spoons and ice cream cones. There were cartons of ice cream everywhere in so many flavors it looked like a rainbow. 
Ready, asked Cow. She handed Turkey a cone and spoon. For what, Turkey said. Our family's Thanksgiving ice cream cone contest, said Cow. The tallest cone wins. Ready, set, go! Wow, what a cool game. The tallest ice cream cone wins. Ice cream flew through the air. Everyone was shouting, pushing, and laughing. The kitchen was a mess. Turkey felt like a part of the family. It was a wonderful feeling. Ha <laughs> ha. Got a little ice cream on his head. Sounds like he's having fun. Turkey had one house left to go. Mouses. When he got there, the table was crowded with mothers and fathers, sisters and brothers, grandparents, cousins, uncles, and aunts. Happy Thanksgiving, Turkey, they shouted. Dinner was a feast of bird seeds, soap, and berries. While Mouse's family went nibble, nibble, taste, taste, Turkey gobbled up everything on his plate. Now comes the best part, said Mouse. What, asked Turkey. He hoped it was an ice cream. Our family's Thanksgiving parade, said Mouse. Wow, that's a cool idea. They put on their coats and boots, blew up balloons, and handed a drum to Turkey. Turkey was so full, he thought they could use him as a balloon. A gigantic floating turkey. Oh, that's pretty funny. When everyone was ready, the Mouse family parade marched out the door with Turkey at the front of their long, noisy line. This says, Happy Thanksgiving. Turkey felt like a part of the family. It was a wonderful feeling. Neighbors poured out of their homes to join the parade. Turkey saw pig. He saw horse. He saw goat and sheep. He even saw cow. He saw every one of his barnyard friends. Turkey was so happy, so surprised, and so stuffed he fell over. <laughs> stuffed turkey. When Turkey opened his eyes, his barnyard friends were in a circle around him, looking at him with worried faces. How do you feel, asked Horse. I ate too much, said Turkey, but it was worth it. I got to spend Thanksgiving with all of you, and that's what families do. Sorry, Turkey, said Cow. We didn't know we each invited you to dinner. That's okay, said Turkey, but next year we're having Thanksgiving dinner at my house. Everyone laughed and cheered. It was a wonderful feeling. Oh, I love that so much. The parade started again. While Turkey banged his drum, he planned what to make his barnyard family for dinner next year. Grilled grasshoppers were always good. Just thinking about it made him hungry. Happy Thanksgiving. I can't believe he was still hungry after all that. I sure love this book, guys. At the back it says, with five Thanksgiving dinners to eat, there's going to be one very stuffed turkey. And that's true. He was very stuffed from all that food. I love that Turkey felt like a family member when he went to each one of these dinners. And I also loved that each one of these families had Thanksgiving traditions that they did during dinner or after dinner. So my question to you today is, what is a Thanksgiving tradition that makes you have that wonderful feeling that Turkey had? What do you do at Thanksgiving with your family or friends that gives you that wonderful feeling? Maybe you have a Thanksgiving tradition that makes you feel so good. I hope you enjoyed reading with me today, guys. Bye.